it's gonna be fun. I think um, obviously as two rookies, like getting to share this experience for the first time, like super rare to be here as a rookie, um, and then to have two of us here, I think it's it's just really great overall. I think obviously the fans are gonna be very excited about it. Um, but I'm excited to share the court honestly with everybody. Like meeting new people, this is my first experience here. Obviously, know these two, but everybody else, like just getting to know them over the course of the weekend and, and enjoying the experience. Our next question to your right in the second row. Tyler DeLuca, No Cap Space, Women's Basketball. Uh, if you guys could answer just left to right on this one, we just heard from Cheryl Miller, and she just said, and I quote, this team wants to beat the brakes off the Olympic team. <laughs> uh, for you guys, you go through that practice. What was it like being able to, to be coached and to be around a legend like Cheryl Miller? And for all of you, please. It's great. Um, I mean, Coach Miller, I mean, she's a legend on um, what she's done for the game the big reason as to why we're here. Um, and we definitely want to win. Uh, we said in the huddle that winning is fun. Um, and that's what we want to do. I think we're just excited to get out there, play together. Um, obviously, we haven't played together as this group, but I mean, just, just know the talent that we have in this team, being able to push pace and run is going to be good for us. Yeah, I think, obviously, Cheryl, she's like one of the pioneers of our game and just an awesome individual. Um, like, her personality just radiates. Like, being around her, it just makes you smile. Like, she's just such a cool human. Um, so for her to get to coach us, like, super exciting for me. I was super excited when I heard that news. Like, just a, a great opportunity uh, to be around somebody that's given so much to this game and to get, get to enjoy this my first experience with her, honestly. Uh, kind of the same what they've been saying. Uh, Shova told us that she wanted to win, and she made it clear, the clear cut and asked us how y'all want to do this. And I think we grow to appreciate it because at the end of the day, we're competitors. And what she's done for us and paved the way even for us to be here um, we're, we're, we're internally grateful for her, and I think that we only can be right by her by competing as best as we can along. Next question to your left uh, in the fourth row, Cassandra. Cassandra Negley with Yahoo Sports. For Caitlin and Aaliyah, when the Mercury practice facility opened, Diana talked about how it was for the future and continuing to level up. Caitlin, you're your first all-star. Aaliyah, your second. What is it like to be here in Phoenix, knowing that you are that next generation to keep leveling up? Yeah, it's super cool. Obviously, the practice facility is amazing. Um, and obviously, the court being named after DT, like, that's something she really deserves. And I think it's super cool. I think they're on mat. And she has done a great job of not only putting on this whole weekend, but being very invested into their team and giving them all the resources in the world to be great. Um, I think it's something that um, is needed, and um, they definitely deserve it. But um, yeah, I mean, it's cool for us to share this experience together as, you know, two young players in this game. and. There's so many young stars. I think that he's going to continue to grow forward. And um, yeah, I mean, that's kind of what he came and talked to us. Or came and talked to us um, after practice today. And that's what he kind of said. Like, we want this to be the start of continuing to just move the game forward and being celebrated and give you guys everything that you deserve. So uh, I think it was a super cool opportunity. Next question on the right side of the room, all the way in the back. Hey guys, Justin Lasser, Costa of Burn City Sports. Obviously, a lot of the talk this season has been about the growth in women's basketball, all the eyes that come with it, but. Obviously, you guys and the entire league have to put in the work to see those results, and especially this season, condensed schedule with the Olympic break. How do you guys sort of just take a step back and embrace this new community and this new era of women's basketball that you guys are building ahead of that break? Yeah, I mean, it's great to be a part of. Um, you see the energy, you see the eyes, you see everything that is women's basketball, and that's women's sports, and it's really, really exciting. And I think for us, it's just being in that moment, like understanding where we're at, understanding the eyes that are on us, are saying that we come in every single day and we work hard and give it our all because we love the game and we'll love you back. Um, and so it's really it's really special for us. And I think just thinking about our team too, like we have a special group, there's so much talent. And I think we just continue to work hard and everyone that's watching is seeing the talent that we have. Uh, next question right here to the left, second row. Hey y'all, uh, just a quick one for Caitlin. Uh, how do you feel you've grown as a film watcher from your time at Iowa to now? I'm honestly, like I've always been somebody that's watched film, so I don't think it's really changed. Like, it's, I mean, film doesn't lie. Like, you think one thing happens in the game, it's not gonna lie to you. You go back and watch it. So whether it's good, bad, ugly, I think it's a great way to learn. Um, but at the same time, like when I would go back and watch with one of our coaches, like we also watch the good stuff, see the stuff that you did well. It doesn't always have to be just the bad stuff. You find plenty of ways to learn, but also find the ways that you you improve and got better, and just continue to to you know replicate that from game to game and then improve on the one on the ways that you did it. Um, but yeah, I mean, I don't think it's changed much. Like I've always been a film watcher and somebody that, you know, wants to learn from game to game and then also watch film of our next opponent. We have time for about two more questions. Uh, to your left, toward the back of the room. 
Hey, Galen, Josh Weinfuss, ESPN. You talked earlier about how um, you've been playing for about a year straight. So can you put into perspective, how tired are you? And on top she of that, like... get tired. <laughs> you see the way I run? I just sprint get tired. all the time. All the time. <laughs> sprint. I sprint everywhere. I sprint in my apartment. I sprint. I sprint. Both sprinting. Um, and then not making the national team, obviously you wanted to, but is it a blessing in disguise at all to give you some time off? Yeah, I mean, obviously my dream, my goal was to be there and to be there at some point. Um, but I think getting this break is going to be very beneficial for myself and something that I deserve. And at times, like, I'm just somebody that wants to continue to work and continue to play. And there has to be a point where, you know, that has to stop and you have to, you know, take care of yourself and do things for yourself. And maybe some of those decisions at times can be hard and you want to give the world and everybody watching what they want to and help this game get better and better. But um, I think relaxing and reflecting on everything that's happened to me over the course of the last year is going to be super important because my life has moved so fast. My life has changed so much. Um, I don't want to let any of those moments pass me by. Um, so I think just you know, taking care of myself and knowing that it's okay to put yourself first sometimes is, is super important. But I mean, like, sure, I'm tired, but at the same time, like, there's so many people that would kill to be in my shoes and so many people that are going through, you know, so much worse in their lives. Like, I'm a professional basketball player. My life is pretty, pretty good, so I have no complaints, and if I'm going to be tired, I'll be tired. Like, I'll take that every single day of the week, so um, this break will definitely be nice, so. Our last question will come from Zoom. We're going to go to Scripps News. Roy, go ahead. Scripps News. Um, okay, question for uh, Caitlin. I was wondering if you had any, like, you know, the community service um, um, obligations or activities here coming up this weekend. I know there's a lot of work off the court happening. Um, just if there's events that you're looking forward to and sort of being a part of the community and connecting with others and sort of expanding uh, the reach of the W and the game, like, like what's on schedule for you? This weekend? Yes. I mean, I, I have quite a few obligations that I have to go to. Um, I mean, a lot, honestly, with brand partners. So my, my schedule is pretty packed on top of everything else that I have to do. And um, I mean, honestly, the thing I'm most excited for is obviously to get a break and uh, to enjoy that. And then obviously enjoy all the festivities that the WNBA has to offer this weekend um, and continue to grow the game in that way. Um, I think honestly once I get back to Indianapolis and once the season ends like getting into the community there like that's my new home and enjoying that and connecting with them because I just moved to the city and like I didn't really get to meet them or know them or really get involved in the community that much like I just started playing basketball there um, that's all I do um, so I guess that's all I got for you at this point I mean I'm pretty busy <laughs> <laughs> Kelsey, 